what's up y'all i just want to come in and share some uh, educational knowledge with you guys if some of you may not know i did pass my medical billing exam and i took the four month class and i want to show you guys how i ended up taking this cert for free and they also paid for me to take the exam for free the first time this video is just overview of NC Works, and NC Works is North Carolina workforce information on how I was able to go get my medical billing and coding certificate and also take the class through this program that North Carolina offers. This program is also like Indeed, but better. You know, Indeed has like the scammers on there, but using this website, it helps avoid those. So right here, I'm just typing in the medical billing and coding and where I'm located at and, you know, seeing what kind of job positions are in the area. However, you go on Indeed, they probably have like a little bit more extensive stuff, but Indeed can get a little shady and you want to be very wary of that. But also the recruiters also help you find a job too. However, I'm not looking for a job at the moment, but they do help you look for a job. Uh, it also depends on like the experience and like your resume and we'll get down to that later. Right here, I'm just playing around like just putting stuff in the search engine, but you put anything that you want on your own time. If you stay in North Carolina, then this is for you. And if you want to continue to see how, you know, this process is, continue to watch and I'm just breaking down the steps by step for you. Okay, as you guys can see, I'm just typing in one more thing, just typing in medical billing, and you can also type in medical coding, but I didn't do that um, just for the sake of this video, just to get down to business with it, but they're offering 11 results for this um, in healthcare or off of administrative, but they're both the same thing. Uh, it also depends on what aligns with your experience first. I've experienced working in the healthcare field already. But by me to get in my certificate, this also adds to my experience as well. So you also want to take a consideration of that as well. All right, so we're just scroll a little bit just to see what they have going on um, and whatever they posted on today or however long ago they posted this stuff. But um, if anything, I'm looking for a remote position, which is why I'm going to click on the one that says in Johnson County and just kind of see what they offer. That says Johnson City, Tennessee, and they pay between $13 and $18. That's a little too low for me uh, only because of my experience. But if it's work from home, $18 is not bad at all. I will consider doing that. Uh, personally, because it is a work at home and it, it did say remote. And as long as it doesn't require me to come in the office because it is in Tennessee, then I would choose this as a prospect uh, and just see where that goes, actually. So this is a good one. So if you're interested and you do already have your certificate, then look at this one um, if you're not, if you don't have a job yet. <laughs> So I'm going to log in and show you guys a little bit more. Uh, if you don't have a login, I suggest you create one because you're going to need that um, if you go this route through getting your certificate or at least going through the program. Um, and the program that I have, it is on here and it was a, it was a good program. Uh, it's some things that I will say regarding the instructor I had specifically. But other than that, the program was really good. Uh, I still have all my information from the class. I don't think I'm ever going to get rid of that. Just in case I may know someone that may want to use it. Well, not really use it, but like they're interested or if I need to like reference anything um, for a potential job, uh, stuff like that. They did pay for the books as well. So that was awesome. So right here, I am going to go to the training and education programs so you guys can see what education programs that they have to offer for this. All right, so I'm gonna type in 
and where it says keyword, um, some information right there, but this is saying like what kind of like program that you're looking for, then how much it is, the location, how much it costs, um, information like that. So we're gonna type in medical billing and coding. I'm not gonna type anything else, I really don't need that. So it offers only information um, and education from ProTrain, and that's where I went to get my um, hours and my certification. I didn't get my certification through that, I got my certification through NHA. However, don't look at the cost, don't look at that. Because what I'm about to tell you, they work with me. I got the exam voucher, I got to um, have the my books included, uh, and it was live online with an instructor. I was going to do a self-paced, and I'm glad that I didn't, and I'm glad that it was fast-paced because it requires you to keep up, which was awesome for my lifestyle, and at that time, I was taking it. My daughter wasn't even one yet when I was taking the class, and on top of that, I was getting my master's degree as well, so... This is the requirement. Um, you need a minimum of a high school diploma or a GED. You got to have 100 hours, um, and the class was at night. And this was the one that I was taking. It was $4,000. And NC Works, my recruiter, they they found a way to cover all the costs and expenses. Like, she really worked with me. She doesn't work there anymore, but I have somebody else's information. For those of you that does stay in North Carolina, maybe you can contact her. Um, she was really good, too. She took on my case after I was done. Um, but, yeah, this was it, the class was fun. Like, if you're really into, like, the medical stuff and healthcare stuff, then you're going to get a kick out of this. But I enjoyed taking the class. Um, it was fast-paced. I will say that if you're not used to fast pace, then I suggest that you go in person. But since this was a four-month program and we met Monday, we met Mondays and Wednesdays, and then whatever holidays we had off, like a normal um, school schedule, we had that off. But those extra days I had away from everything, it was extremely helpful for me to catch up on work and be a little flexible if you have the time to be flexible to do other stuff. Now, before you go contacting these people, you need to have your resume uploaded and done because they are going to have you do that. So you might as well have to have your resume uploaded before. So that'll give them enough time to like, you know, say that, okay, let's move on to the next step or whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, right here, I am going to go to show you guys how, um, not really show you, but I am showing you, but <laughs> you can create a resume if you don't have one through their, through this portal, which is pretty good. So if you don't have one, you just need like a basic one just to upload it. It doesn't only takes like five minutes at the max. You don't need to put everything down there. Just put like your education uh, that you have completed high school or college or whatever the case was. Um, and all that information. And it builds you a resume from that. All right. So right here, type in resume. It says don't put your name or anything personal. You can put resume 2023 winter because it has you update like your resume every I think every five months on this website and you can also make your resume visible or not visible to employers but when you're uploading this for your recruiter to see it needs to be visible so they can see it this is a really nice feature for those of you that do have trouble curating a resume now if you have experience then you don't need this. Just upload your resume. And even if you already have a resume created already, use that. Like, that works as well. Uh, you don't have to have um, everything updated. They just need to see that you're capable of doing this information. And you have, like, the, this is a basic job skill to have anyway, is that you have the capability of doing this by yourself. Now, if you need help, ask for help, especially if you want to get this done put a little disclaimer out there you see the cost the cost was four thousand dollars in the um a couple seconds ago when i showed you if you do not finish this course or you fail you will have to pay 
this this money back. So I suggest that if you're really serious about this and you already know what you really want to do, go on there with an open mind and be sure and just have the confidence that you know that you're going to finish the program. And when you get to like this, um, the exam part, like the certification part, then, yeah, that's fine. Um, it's OK if you fail. That's fine. But you just want to make sure you're not having to pay back four thousand dollars. OK. All right. This next step we're going to go into. This is just. This just pertains information that me and my recruiter, she um, was like information that I had to sign every time I met with her. Uh, so doing research, I did have to write a paragraph. You have to write a paragraph, too, on like why you want to work in this field. What would this field do for you? How much money would you make when working in this field? So it's just doing the, the correct research on on this because you know you're you don't want to waste your time you don't want to waste your recruiter's time and more probably you don't want to waste money so you want to make sure this is for you so you see i uploaded my resume uh maintain contact with staff you got to do that every two weeks uh, completing assessments when you start class when you end class um, when you completed the um certificate uh, certification excuse me um attendance um all that goes in consideration of this so you want to be really serious and diligent and use your time management skills if you're working or you have kids and you're going to go back to get some certifications you know because you got to have that if you want to level up and become a better version of yourself but thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video